has said himself he was the uh, Tupac? He did, but but not to the public. I mean, I know my family. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, all eyes on me. I just really can't understand how somebody uh, all eyes on me can't just look in history. Yeah, I mean, like not even a all eyes on history, me. Just uh, recent I'm like, history. I'm like, shit. for real. Like, I mean, it's, all eyes it's crazy. Me. I mean, you can't Think understand. Right. Wow, all it's only gonna take me a little bit to smash this ignorance Claiming that I'm Tupac, stop, ain't that a bitch uh, But I'ma take it like a compliment But I'm my own man, I got my own accomplishments yeah. To live and die for, I'm really from L.A. South Central, Florence and Normandy uh, Ask around, I ain't hard to be found My history is not a mystery, I get around, I've been putting it down uh, 82 with the sound, making those records going round and round uh, Since 79, I've been on the grind, playing Pop on the football at Centennial High. Pop locking on the field when it became halftime. Since I was a little shorty, I've been handling mine. Uh, never throwing up no gang signs. I got friends on both sides, so I don't take sides. Uh, and that's my ambition when I ride. As far as I'm concerned, we all from one tribe. Uh, pushing the same vibe. Black power, black love, and, and black pride. Man. I met Tupac before the world. Met Tupac in 89 before the world. All Nicolai eyes Tupac. on me. All eyes on me. I met Tupac before the world knew Tupac in 89 before anybody All eyes knew Tupac. on me. All eyes. I met Tupac before the world met Tupac in 89 before anybody knew Tupac. I done championed all my football games on this street. I done caught plenty of touchdowns in this end zone right here. Ah, I remember this house right here. Used to be some gypsies that stayed at this house and they moved away. They moved away around the time of the riots and stuff and uh, the house, whole house got burnt down and stuff. It used to be a boat right here that some other people that lived here, they left the boat there. And this is where I like first smoked my first joint. <laughs> Right here is the. I was so high, I was so scared. I said I was never smoking again. The, right during the riots, me and a couple of my other buddies, we was walking down the street and we seen the police over here in a van. Police just drew down on us and stuff, man. That shit scared the shit out of me, man. I was like, this is how I'm going out, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. I thought I was gone, man. I went home. After that, I was like, I'm going home. Fuck the riots, I'm going home. All this shit around it was burning. And these fools was running. You see these fools right here? These fools was running. How y'all doing today? Getting filmed? Huh? Getting filmed? No, I'm getting filmed. I am. No, I'm getting filmed. I just was. Huh? I just was. You just was? Uh, how does it feel? How does it feel? I feel guilty. Huh? I feel guilty. <laughs> you feel guilty? <laughs> If you didn't do nothing, why you feel like that? Huh? I said, if you didn't do nothing, why would you feel like that? Else if I didn't do nothing, I'm not gonna feel guilty. Regardless of whatever so everybody else thinks, I'm not gonna feel, huh? Nice How's it going, my people? This is your boy, Wired Up, and welcome to another episode of Wired Up TV. Um, hope you guys got your hands on the steering wheel and doing your thing. Uh, let's get right down to it, y'all. This video is again about a kill BMC being Tupac. Now, first of all, I want to go right out, right in the beginning, straight up say, um, <clears throat> a lot of my subscribers believe in this theory, and I have much respect for anybody's beliefs, okay? Anybody's beliefs. Now, this is my opinion from the research I found, and by me speaking to a kill the MC because a kill the MC is a friend of mine, okay? Uh, and this is what I found, and this is what I believe. So, you know, like I respect your guys' opinion, you know, I expect the same respect back uh, for my opinion, all right? And you know, like I said before, as long as you guys don't start disrespecting on the comments, I don't care if you guys, you know, have little debates with me about a kill the MC. 
as long as there's no disrespectful, you know, slurs, all good. Anyways, uh, you know, I want to show you guys here these two pictures. First on the left, it says, uh, I'll kill the MC on Twitter. High school, 1988. Okay, football was the blah, blah, blah. So it's a kill the MC on the left. There's three guys. One tall guy with a white shirt in the middle. On the right, it's a guy with a purple shirt, black shirt. And on the left, it's a kill with gray on. Okay? Um, so, you know, it's all good. This is who they are. On the right, you see, summer of 1992 after the riots. Uh, me in middle... Me in the middle, Africa left, and Zakir on the right. Rebels of Rhythm. You see, uh, Achille MC in the middle. Uh, very, very, very short, okay? Um, you know, Tupac was a smaller guy, but mainly in 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 weight. Tupac was about 5'10", I believe. 5'11", or something like that. Really short, you know, or maybe 5'10". You know, he was a smaller guy, um, you know, but... Whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, Akil's a lot shorter. I believe he's 5'2", if I'm not mistaken. So he's a lot shorter. Um, he, he, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's a smaller guy. But anyways, um, these are these pictures right here. Uh, you know, uh, these are real <laughs> family photos. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, of course, you're going to have your non-believers that are going to say, well, uh, that's, that's, that's not him. This is not... So, these pictures were taken at the same time Tupac and Marusha Kaur was alive and breathing. Okay, in 1992, I believe Pac was already doing this thing in the hip-hop game. So, there's a kill right there. You know what I mean? Unless Tupac had a double life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, shrunk. You know, he had a talent where he can shrink. And, you know, live in two, you know, be at, in two places at once. Um, then... You know, I, I'm not going to buy this, guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, one, I think it's disrespectful to my friend, Akil, because, you know, basically saying that, you know, and he says it himself, you know, it's an honor or whatever. It's a compliment, but he has his own accomplishments. That's basically saying that everything is done. Everything he's done is being taken away from him, you know. But, um, yeah, anyways, um, let's move on. Here are two more pictures. The one on the left, you know, when he's playing football. And it says right here, kill the MC on Twitter. High school, 1988 football. Okay. He told you he played football on the video I just showed you right now in the beginning. And there he is. I mean, this, these are more pictures of him. You know, that's a kill the MC right there. Um, on the right picture, you see a kill the MC. Right there in the middle with the white shirt, the shortest guy there playing music. If you notice, when you see pictures of Tupac, he's, yeah, in some pictures, he is the short guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the smaller guy. But Pac didn't look short. If you see his pictures, he's usually the same size as everybody else because he was relatively kind of a, of a normal size, around 5'10". You know what I'm saying? Which isn't, a, you know, isn't 5'2". You know, and when you see pictures of Akil the MC, he's... Almost 100% always the shorter man. You know what I'm saying? And don't get it twisted. I'm not trying to diss or anything like that. Because just because he's short, you know, hey, dynamite comes in small packages. You know what I'm saying? So don't get it twisted. Um, but I'm just, you know, stating the obvious. Um, in every picture that you see a, a, a kill standing with other people, he's always the shortest guy, you know? And with Pac, you don't see that. You know, you know, he, you know, here's some pictures right here. Look, you see Pac? He doesn't look like he's short. You know, he's always around the same size as people. Of course, there's people that are going to be taller than Pac. You know what I mean? Like Snoop was taller and Suge. I mean, but what I'm basically trying to explain is Pac wasn't really, really short like a Kill the MC is. You know, when you saw Pac in pictures, you know, he always was like, when you saw Pac in pictures, you didn't go, oh God, he's short. You know what I'm saying? You never thought that. You know what I mean? When you see a kill the MC in pictures next to people, you're like, oh wow, he's the shortest guy there. I didn't know he was that short. So basically, Pac was way taller than a kill the MC. You know what I mean? This is just common sense. You know, um, if you have a a brain, you know you can see this. Um, but you know, there's some of these theorists that um, you know refuse 
to see this, you know? And I really honestly think, like I said before, I think, you know, certain people that, you know, pump this theory don't even believe it. Don't believe this themselves. Because I honestly think, in my opinion, you know what I mean? Uh, no, no man with a regular IQ, you know, regular mind, regular thinking man <laughs> will ever believe something like this. This is something, like I said, this is something that even some Disney movies don't go as far as this. I've seen Disney movies more believable than this theory. For a rapper, multi-millionaire rapper, the most famous rapper in the world, with all the women in the world, good looking dude, and the best record label in the world, you know, had the most clout, the best selling record, he had the swag. For him to fake his death, oh and by the way, he was the best actor, for him to fake his death and come back as a rapper again and be in the, in the public eye again, you know what I mean? And not be an actor anymore, you know what I mean? Um, you know, not quite as successful. And be on TV and be around some of the same people he was before he faked his death. It's freaking ludicrous. It's crazy. It's, it makes no freaking sense. You know what I mean? No freaking sense. It makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. Nothing. Nada. Okay? Zero. So, you know, whatever. Here are more pictures. On the left, you see a kill in school right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, the gentleman next to him must be just as short as him because this is the first picture where I see somebody about the same height as him. Uh... Then on the right, you see a kill again. It says, a kill the MC, 1990-91. My last Christmas celebration. Just before my first child was born at my house, I was raised in 71st Street. Um, so, you know, he's from L.A. And you can see him right in front of his house. You can see Christmas lights there. That's crazy. <laughs> but it's 1990-1991. And, you know, even in this picture, you can tell this picture is old. <laughs> you know what I mean? And even in this picture, he doesn't look like Tupac. You know what I mean? He doesn't dress like Tupac. And it doesn't really look like Tupac on the one to right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, I I'm not going to lie. A Kill the MC has a lot of similarities of Tupac. A lot. You know, and he could act, you know, he could actually play. He could have played him in, in uh, movies. And he could pass as Tupac except for the height. Because he's a lot shorter than Tupac was. But... You know, saying that Akili MC is Tupac but just because he looks a little bit like him is crazy, you know? Because, um, what's that guy that played him on All Eyes On Me? I, f I forget his name, but the, you know, the man that played him on All Eyes On Me uh, looked exactly like Tupac too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so what, he's Tupac? You know, what about somebody that looks like me? Is he me? Am I him? Did I fake my death? You know what I mean? People have people that look like each other, okay? That's just the way the world is. It doesn't mean that it's actually them, okay? Uh, and I think I have to explain this to some of them, you know what I mean? Uh, because, the, honestly, I think the people that believe this probably still believe in Santa Claus. And, you know, I hate to break it to y'all, but Santa Claus doesn't exist, and this isn't true. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's a fairy tale theory, um... You know, we touched on this a long time ago, too. And to be honest with you, like I said, I started laughing the first time I heard this theory. But I touched on it for my subscribers. And um, it, it, literally, like, the first f five minutes that I started investigating, it blew it right out the water that it wasn't true. You know what I mean? So, it's crazy. Because the first thing that I looked up is that they were alive at the same time. <laughs> you know what I mean? They lived in completely different places, completely a different height. You know what I mean? He has a, a birth name and everything there. So it, it's just absurd. You know what I mean? That's just fun. It fell apart. And if, you know, with all this concrete evidence that shows that he's not Tupac, if you still believe in this, then, you know, I mean, that's that's your opinion. You know, there's nothing I can do about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But. I'm just here to tell you, you know, don't say that I never warned you. You're wasting your time for, you know, a lot. You're wasting a lot of your precious minutes of your life investigating something that is super, super dumb. <laughs> you know what I mean? Super, super dumb. But 
you know, I don't know what to do, you know, uh, the only way I would ever, you know, the only thing that can ever prove this, you know, you, you're never going to prove this on, on, on a telephone, giving somebody your opinions, because we all have opinions, you know, that's not concrete evidence, uh, the only way you can prove this is if you were to get, uh, you know, a, a kill and somebody in Tupac's, you know, family to take a DNA test or something like that. Or if you would have got some DNA from a Feeney, Shakur, or even Billy Garland, you know, and do a DNA. And then, you know, it proves it's a match and it's Tupac. That's the only way you can prove it. But that's never going to happen because, one, the DNA won't match. <laughs> and, two, uh, once Tupac's family hears about this, they're going to start laughing in your face. <laughs> You know, well, here are more pictures, though. 1988 Manual Arts. You see <clears throat> Killy MC on the right. Wearing a purple shirt. He was uh, real young. About a teenager. And stuff like that. You know what I mean? But, yeah. And then a kill on the left as well. You know what I mean? Um, you know, as you can see, you know. And playing baseball kills was a uh, was a shorter gentleman there but these are pictures when he was a, a kid not a grown man and when you're around this age a lot of people are around the same height yeah, except that some people start to I mean some people stop growing and then other people keep growing so these are pictures when he was you know real young probably in middle school or something like that and you know everybody's about the same height but some people keep growing some people stop and that's not a diss because like I said before and I'll say it again Kill the MC is my friend, and he might be small, but he'll he'll man. I don't even want to say the bad word, but he'll f somebody the f up, bro. Straight up, you know he got more word than anybody out there. Talent like crazy, you know what I'm saying? And like to say, dynamite comes in small packages, buddy. So straight up, 100% respect for Kill the MC and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That's the homie, true G, man of his word. And honest as hell, man, and super talented. This is why it it upsets me so bad when people say this. It's because they're taking away his whole career, saying that he ain't got no talent. That's basically Tupac that did it, you know, which is crazy, you know, because Akil the MC is hella talented. You know what I'm saying? From Jurassic Five, you know, for God's sake. So yeah, that's why it upsets me. You know what I'm saying? And I gotta put it down because he's actually my friend, and. You know, ain't nobody mess with the homies, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, you know, um, he's tired of this stuff too, you know. He laughs at this kind of stuff, uh, you know, it, it, it's funny, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, super funny, it makes no sense and stuff like that, um, you know what I mean? Uh, also, Akil don't even have the same tattoos that Pac had. But of course, they can say that he took them off or something like that. Uh, but if you ever seen anybody take off tattoos, it leaves a lot of scars, a lot of scarring. And, you know, you can go do your own research yourself. Uh, if you don't know yet, you know what I mean? Uh, Kyo doesn't have any, you know, tattoo removal scars. So, you know, as you can see, you know, there's no tattoo removal scars at all whatsoever. And when you remove the tattoos, you can see them straight up. Go research it. With that being said, guys, make up your own mind. Quit supporting the phonies, y'all. <laughs> you know, and thank you for watching. Much respect to whatever you believe. God bless, and always stay wired up. In the words of Smokey from Friday, peace out. Love those who love me. Peace out, y'all.